The war on terror targeting militant group Al Shabaab and their sympathizers in Kenya formed the main agenda during the annual security review and planning conference in Mombasa County where Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi directed chiefs and their assistants to give information on the terror group sympathizers terming them as the enemy within specifically in northern Kenya and coastal regions. The chiefs and the assistant chiefs, they must step up and measure up. And the, these people in the villages where they come and live, they must tell us which are these families and which are these groups that keep these people. And when that time comes, I need to repeat this, we will not distinguish between the terrorists and those who keep them. There isn't terror attacks on a Lamu-bound passenger bus, the attack on the modern naval base in Lamu, and two other attacks in Saredo and Kamuda areas of Garissa County that have left more than 10 people dead, forcing the government to change tact in dealing with Al-Shabaab. My brothers who are here, the Inspector General, the GSU Commandant and the others, the Deputy Inspectors General, can testify that in terms of focus and preparedness, we are doing well. Where we face the challenge is that aspect of collusion and collaboration with local communities. So we go for them. The biggest, of course, challenge that we face is uh, also uh, because of our, our neighborhood, which includes the waters. And in the meantime, we have been able to operationalize the Kenya Coast Guard Service uh, fully now, funded and operational. Matiangi, who unveiled his ministry's 10-point plan in the 2020-2021 financial year for the announced changes that will be a more than welcome change from 1st July this year, Kenyans will be able to get passports, birth and death certificates and identity cards on the same day of application. I will never understand for the life of me, and Kenyans will not. When we have collected data through Huduma Number, we have IPRS, most of our services are now digitized. Why on earth should it take a Kenyan seven days to get a birth certificate? Other than just corruption. Because people want to come tomorrow, come the other day, so that you can buy lunch and you can be frustrated. For years, this has been the norm, crowding at Nyayo House and other registration bureaus. Matiangi raiding the civil registration department and uncovering the inefficiencies that have made registration for key documents pure hell. Kimozo, I want you to stand up. Janet, stand up. Moteshi. Tell you, tell you our officers this in the field. Because this is, I will hold you personally responsible. Tell your officers in the field. The count commissioners are their bosses. They report to count commissioners. The count commissioners are their bosses. That arrogance and idiocy should come to an end. Government officials in the immigration services and registration departments in particular were put on notice, with Matiangi further directing county commissioners to crack the whip on lazy and corrupt officers. Within the next two weeks, we come up with a helpline. Uh, the helpline will give it to the public. And the public will call us when they're having a problem and frustration with your officers. And we will give that information to the respective county commissioners through the regional commissioners so that they take action even in the field. And regional commissioners and county commissioners who are here and the police commanders, I will not be sad if you arrested these people where you find them, Natembea. If there are any asking for bribes, stressing one energy, arrest them to Apeleke Kotini. Wednesday's security chiefs meeting came with renewed vigor to step up the fight on the war on terror in the country's far north and coastal counties in the wake of a string of attacks in the past few weeks. Apul Kamau, K24 Evening Edition in Mombasa.